Hi, I am Preetam. I am the CEO and Executive Director of Sansera Engineering Limited. Sansera is into manufacturing of precision engineered components and we cater to sectors like automotive and non-automotive. Non-automotive is predominantly consisting of aerospace, defense, industrial engineering, semiconductor, etc. The opportunities for such precision engineered components manufacturing in India for all this last few decades was predominantly coming from automotive sector. But over the last few years, India is being looked at for other very important sectors like aerospace, defense. Today, the opportunity sizes in each of these sectors is significantly larger. We are also getting benefited by China plus one policy. A lot more uh, business is flowing towards India. To start with, automotive predominantly was uh, domestic, catered by, uh, to the domestic industry. But now, Indian automotive component manufacturing industry is becoming almost a default choice for most of the OEMs for their export requirements as well. India is being seen as a major manufacturing hub. So we expect significant high business inflows into this sector. Initially, aerospace started with overflow of orders from the existing supply chain to India. But today, over the few last one decade where the companies have been able to demonstrate our expertise in this sector, so aerospace is also gaining a lot of importance. So today, the business is flowing not because we are cost competitive, because we are also competitive in terms of engineering skill set. Semicon is a new industry that is being looked at. Uh, so India is also focused heavily. Government is pushing a lot of incentives to make sure that this sector gets established well in India. So a lot of leading uh, OEMs are looking at India for establishing their supply chain. So the opportunity for good manufacturing companies in Semicon sector as well is very, very good. Given the size of opportunities that is available in the manufacturing sector, one of the key challenges to uh, make sure that opportunities are captured very well is to ensure that we have the right skill available for uh, executing such projects. So today the biggest challenge is financial resources are available, the uh, orders are available, but the manufacturing sector is highly handicapped by the number of skilled manpower that is available, be it in production, be it in engineering, or be it in quality. But then the overall, the skill number of people with adequate skill set available are grossly inadequate. Now, government is doing a lot of work to make sure that uh, the skill sets, uh, are, this issue is addressed through National Skill Development Council, subset is Automotive Skill Development Council. But as, a, uh, as an industry, we need to participate much more proactively to ensure that we absorb all those people who are coming out of such initiatives and give them adequate opportunities. We will also have to work with all the universities to make sure that the university curriculum is adjusted to the industry needs. And uh, a step has been already uh, taken towards that. Bajaj Auto has been working with a lot of initiative to set up skill development centers across India with various universities and many such programs needs to be developed so that the industry is adequately skilled.